I am Dr. Sangeeta, fertility specialist, laparoscopic surgeon and into cosmetic gynecology with 20 years of experience practicing at Coral Advanced Fertility New Bell Road, Bangalore. Ovarian cyst excision can be done either with the help of laparoscopy or to open surgery. Now, it is an era of laparoscopic surgeries and including cancer surgeries, we are able to do everything with laparoscopy. Laparoscopy is a minimally invasive surgery wherein we have small nicks so that a camera and small tubes can be, tubular instruments can be introduced inside the abdomen and through that we work and remove the cyst or whatever is present inside the abdominal cavity. And now there is anything more than that, we can go in for robotic laparoscopic surgery. And when it is as simple as that, we have to just think before opening the abdomen for simple things like ovarian cyst excision. This ovarian cyst can be due to any reason. It can be benign, that means they are non-cancerous. It can be malignant, that means cancerous. So in again non-malignant or malignant, that is non-cancerous, lesions, there can be variety of ovarian cysts. It can be due to simple cysts, it can be simple serous adenoma, it can be simple dermoid cysts, so on. When there is some malignant changes inside the cyst, we call it as a cancerous lesion. And again, it has multiple classifications and multiple types and we have to think of like uh, staging the cancer when we do a ovarian cyst which is cancerous lesion. And sometimes it can be most commonly seen are like simple cysts, endometriotic cysts that we call chocolate cysts of the ovary and dermoid cysts and simple serous cysts. And when we do this surgery, definitely we have to enucleate the cyst completely and retrieve it through a bag and it has to be subjected for histopathological examination just to make sure there are no cancerous cells in that. And once the surgery is done, the patient can go back on the same day, sometimes we call it as daycare surgery or next day maximum. So this is a very simple procedure for a patient, just she will come in, stay for one day and she can go back next day. So time is less and it has become very affordable nowadays because each and everyone are again expert in this laparoscopic surgery and pain due to a bigger surgery is definitely less because we don't give a bigger incision and there are very few sutures and the complications post-surgery like bed rest, the absenteeism from the work and all those things will be very minimal in laparoscopic surgery. They can go back to their work after 48 to 72 hours and with minimal pain. These are the advantages of laparoscopic surgery over open abdominal surgery. So yes, for any ovarian cyst excision, we'll have to evaluate the patient. We'll have to make sure we do some marker tests, we do some scans if required MRI, and then we go in for laparoscopic surgery. Depending on this condition, we have to treat her further. Now the risks and complications associated with laparoscopic surgery, either for ovarian cystection or any other surgery, it is the same. Anesthesia risk is the same, but when it comes to laparoscopy, it has a different complication, like it is different in different doctors who have different expertise levels. For an expert who is safe, definitely complication levels are less when compared to a new doctor who is practicing it and for laparoscopy, introducing the port, handling the instrument, handling the electrocautery, and all these things will add on to the complications, like there can be bleeding, there can be injury to the adjacent organs, there can be other unexpected, undiagnosed injuries, which can be missed during laparoscopy. And yes, sometimes it can be done inadequately in some conditions due to the patient's condition, if she has associated cardiac or hypertensive or diabetic disorders, which she cannot tolerate the carbon dioxide levels inside the abdomen and if the operating time is more, yes, she can definitely go in for other complications due to the procedure.